AVVET 76 with my Romanian M44 Mosin Nagant. This rifle's in beautiful condition. It is dated 1954. All the numbers match. If you look at this crest, this is how you can tell a Romanian firearm. There's the three R's in there. Similar in design to the Soviet crest. The bolt has not been modified or ground. That bolt is original to this rifle. You can see the numbers back here match everything else. I'm uh, doing another look today. And it's 50 grains of IMR 4350. Again, that's 50 grains of IMR 4350. I'm using a PPU 322 <laughs> diameter bullet. It's a PSP boat tail that is sized to 313 and a half. 314 diameter, somewhere in that area. It's a 175 grain weight bullet. If I've shot this before, I don't believe I've shot it in the M44. These groups were for my long rifle. So it'll we'll get set up and uh, shoot at 50 yards. All right, when I showed you that load data, it's that good group five shots that was actually at 49 grains of IMR 4350 and that was with the long rifle I am I have 20 loaded in this particular load and the rest of them are at the 49 grains um, this should park pretty good because of the short barrel. And because of the short barrel, I wanted to bump the load up a little bit. So you may see a fireball out the muzzle on this. Yeah. These are famous for their fireball. And that last one. There we go. I want to go in. I'm going to shoot the target on the right. Let's make kick the mule. We'll see here. You know what? I'm not even going to chance it. I'm going to put this on because I'm not a fan of a bruise. Probably shoot high, and that one was 2380 feet per second. I expect it a little louder than that. Twenty four forty three. Twenty four seventy eight. Okay, I want to take a look. Huh, that's not bad for an M forty four. 
much, huh? That's interesting. I'm really surprised. These guys usually are, they're not very active. Um, but, um, According to what I'm seeing, the shooting better than I expected it would. And of course, those of you who know that shoots the motion, you want to load one round in front of the other, or you'll get rim lock. And anybody that shoots the motion I know of has, has had experience with rim lock. I'm going to shoot the target on the left now. Take a little more time. Twenty-four forty-five. That's not bad speed for a hundred and seventy-five grit bullet. Twenty-five. 76. <laughs> 25, 77. Twenty-four sixty-two. Again, I want to look. I keep getting a weird noise. I don't know if my microphone's kicking in and out or what. Okay. I think we will set here for a second. And I want to look at that. Yeah, now that group was high. That group wasn't. The, the second group. When the barrel warms up, it obviously changes the uh, grouping. So I want to pause it. All right. <coughs> I need to get a drink of water. I didn't take my last shot on the five round group. My speeds are running. That one was 2462. So. Just doing some load testing here. Notice the cover on the butt plate that this butt plate's coming loose. I don't know if that screw needs turned in or if it's stripped, which is an easy fix. <clears throat> I'm going to stick with the target on the right. That way I can show you the first five when we go down the range. See, we're back up to 2514. <sighs> Cook. 
course, you know these these were uh, designed during World War II by the Russians, mainly for close quarters combat in urban settings. where the, the 9130 being a long rifle was more for actually a different kind of warfare than what the Russians were fighting in World War II. Decided to use this rifle as other communist countries did. The Chinese had their own version called the T-33. And um, they're actually all pretty interesting rifles. And we're going to save that. And then I'm going to take you down to show you how it went. Well, as you can see on the right, there was my first five. And obviously shooting slightly to the right. And here was the next 15. And in close quarters, you know, if I bump my sight a little bit, that's that's not bad for an M44. Let's uh, do some more shooting. So I tried to move the front sight, and it is really staked on there. I can't get it to move. And without the butt pad on here, this is a little painful. <laughs> you really don't want to bruise. I bruise easily enough as it is. Well, that's all the 50 grainers. That's all for my test today with the 50 grain bullets. Most of these are 49. I'll take you down. Take a look. Well, I shot the remainder here. I tried to move that front sight. I don't know if I did or not. It didn't look like I did. I actually got some in the black there. But that's, um, that's all for that load test. I'm moving to something else.